Hello Capricorn with a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is my first reading of the day. It's early in the morning here for me. Um, so I am starting out the morning in your beautiful energy, Capricorn. This again, this is a general message. It will not resonate with everyone. It may only fit with a few of you, but hopefully there's something here for you to take with you um, to help ease your journey in some way, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get the um, shuffling done and the reading here before us. Um, for those of you who do not like the shuffling, please just move forward in the video to where the reading begins. I'm fine with that, and I do understand. All right, let's go ahead and begin now, Capricorn. Beginning now with Capricorn energy. What's happening now for this group of Capricorns? What's happening now? What's happening now for this group of Capricorns? Guidance, guidance, please, for Capricorn. Guidance, please, for Capricorn energy. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. What's happening next for Capricorn? What's happening next in the seven in the next seven to ten days, or in the next incoming wave of energy? Um, that Capricorn will be connecting in with. What will be happening next for Capricorn? Capricorn, please um, please allow me to remind you that time is fluid. We're all moving at different speeds. So while I say seven to 10 days, for some of you, this could have already happened. For others of you, this is still coming um, a little, just a little bit farther in your future. All right, but we are aiming for seven to 10 days. What's happening next for Capricorn? What's happening next for Capricorn, please? What's happening next for Capricorn? What's happening next for Capricorn? What's next for Capricorn, please? What's happening next for Capricorn, please? Two nights, Capricorn. Two nights here. So if you're feeling blocked, if you're really struggling to make a decision here and you're feeling blocked, I do see movement in the next future, in the next immediate future for you. One more energy. The cards are really talkative this morning. So let's go ahead out and pull out an, another energy here for Capricorn. Yeah. Beautiful. Two tens. So you're getting to the end of this phase, Capricorn. You're getting to the end of this phase. All right, it is 347 and the reading begins. Capricorn, again, I know for those of you who, are, who watch through the shuffling, a reminder that this is um, looking into the next seven to 10 days. Although that being said, that um, we're all moving at different speeds. So while some of you um, might be in this currently or might be moving into this currently, others of you might have already experienced it or some, um, you this could still be in your future. And for some of you, this could possibly not apply at all. So um, please um, take that into consideration as we begin, Capricorn. Let's get right into your current energy, your current energy for Capricorn. This could resonate with anyone who has um, Capricorn strongly in their chart, does not, necess not necessarily need to be a sun sign. So what's happening currently, we have the Two of Swords next to the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands next to the Four of Swords. So... And the, and the Two of Swords and the Five of Wands came in and dropped down in reversal. So that tells me, and the energy does indicate, that for some of you, you are in the process of, of making a decision. 
and it, it looks like you're gathering information. You're you're looking into things. You're kind of opening your mind to different scenarios. You're opening you're opening your mind to intentions of others and really and truly what's happening in your life. So there is a process now of the blinders coming off for you. The blinders are coming off because there is some kind of a block that you're running up against, some kind of conflict, something that's stopping you from finding a certain sense of freedom because we have the 10 of wands here and also the 10 of swords. So I think in a way, um, this burdening, this heaviness that's on your shoulders, wh wh whatever this constraint is for you with the 10 of wands. Um, it's almost feeling like others have been in control. And I do believe that that's probably what's impacting this conflict, that others are in control of your situation, that others are in control of your life, that for some reason, and because of something that's happened in your life, that you have either given up your power or others have taken your power in whatever way that fits for you. You know, I myself have been in situations of powerlessness. And in re all reality, some of that is, um, has come from, um, the infliction of others as sometimes we are born into communities that can constrain us and that can cap, that can keep us captive in a way. And other times in my life, I have walked unknowingly into, um, situations that have felt restrictive and, and the word restrictive can carry a lot of weight. The word restrictive can be restrictive in all ways. It can be restrictive financially. It can be restrictive from the soul level. It can be restrictive in our growth. It can be restricted, restrictive in how we experience love. It can be restrictive in all different kinds of ways. All that we can imagine, there can be restriction. So there is, there has been a restriction here for you. I feel it over and over again. And I'm like tempted to keep saying it, although I know that I can't now because we're moving forward. And, and that tells me in a way, Capricorn, that there could have been a weird bond there. Um, and, and that bond that I, I do believe with the two of swords, there's some kind of unweaving, unweaving, unwoven. How do I say it? The strands that have have been woven together are now falling apart, falling apart at the seams, falling apart so that the threads that um, once wrapped you together are now being pulled apart. And I think in a way with the two of swords, you are seeing those threads. You are seeing what your role has been. You're seeing what the other's roles have been. And you're able to begin to disentangle yourself from whatever situation this is because it has left you feeling quite overwhelmed um, your flame of hope, it could be quite diminished when you reach the 10 of wands. This is an energy of surrendering in, of finally realizing that you could no longer move forward as you have been. And what I love about the 10 energies is that you're coming to an end of this process. So that tells me that very soon and in the current energy, you are beginning to see um, quite clearly how you can unburden yourself from whatever this trial is for you, whatever this hardship is for you, and that you're coming into a much more restful place. So that's the current energy. So even for you, the current energy is in a state of movement. So things are beginning to happen quite quickly for you, Capricorn. You enter into this current energy. So I am still in the current energy. So the current energy is moving quickly. So you enter into the current energy, not knowing what to do, but knowing that there's a truth for you to find, knowing that there is a mystery for you to solve. And as you go into this energy, you begin to solve it. Capricorn, you are truly um, a, a powerhouse when it comes to seeing the details in life, when it comes to uncovering truth. And when you finally find awareness that there is truth to be found, Capricorn, you do have the amazing capacity to dig deep, look at truth, and move forward in a very strong way. And I see you doing that. I truly seeing you do that. So with the, I am truly seeing you do that. Use correct language when possible. So with this five of wands and the 10 of wands, I see that in the next current time, currently, you are seeing what is blocking you. You are seeing what is blocking you and you are in the process of, a, of working to unburden yourself from something that has left you very diminished with the Ten of Wands, very tired, very overburdened, not feeling freedom, 
not feeling expression in your life, not feeling any of those things, being possibly taken advantage of, being overused, being used and abused, however this applies to you. You're currently seeing it and you're currently taking steps in your life to unburden yourselves from whatever has kept you in this place. Because we end the current time period in the four of source energy. You're learning when to come in out of this fight. You're learning how to rest. You're learning how to pray. You're learning how to meditate to whatever brings you strength. Whatever religious system or whatever spiritual system or whatever you connect to, whether it is Mother Earth or Father Sky or whatever brings you strength, you're beginning to connect in in such a powerful way, Capricorn. And, and you, in your tenacity and your perseverance and your willingness to look at truth, can certainly do this because you have this personality that is truly a gift. It's truly a gift. The guidance here for you is a high priestess. This is wisdom. This is inner knowing. This is connecting with the divine and receiving guidance and not having to speak it out loud, but to keep it inside yourself. The high priestess takes action, but she takes action from within herself. She receives guidance from within herself and from source energy, and she takes action that others may not see, nor may hear the words she speaks, nor may even see her speaking words, but she can speak with her eyes, she can speak with her actions, and she can speak in her silence. And that's the beauty of the high priestess, and that's the guidance for you. So you must be step stepping into that beautiful energy, Capricorn, the energy of the high priestess. The, the feminine of the, the feminine of the Hierophant, the internal sense of faith, the internal sense of trust and of connection, the internal, while the Hierophant is the external world of faith and trust, the high priestess is the internal world, the feminine sense, and this can apply to males and females alike. As we move into the future, we do have the five of cups here. And so we are talking about stepping through the five energy with the five of wands where you are currently Capricorn, that is the conflict. And as you move into the future, as we see that there is movement here, we move into the five of cups, which tells me that you've moved forward. Because when you've hit the five of cups, that means you've looked back. You're looking back Capricorn. And while the guidance is to try not to look back, that is part of the process to look back. That is part of the process. But what it tells me and what gives me so much energy when I'm in this reading is I see that you're moving through the conflict. You can't look back if the conflict is in front of you because you're looking at the conflict. This tells me that you're moving through the conflict in the next immediate time period so that you're able to look back at it. And looking back at it is okay. Just have to remember to keep looking forward else you might trip and you might fall and you might not see the beauty that you're heading towards, Capricorn. So try as much as you can to look forward and to not look back because there's beautiful things ahead because let's look and see what else is here. We have the Knight of Pentacles, steady expansion, stable, real expansion as you move forward, something that will be with you for the long term in a positive way. So we do see you moving in, uh, forward in a very stable way. We have a very Capricornian energy here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is truly the way you move, Capricorn. And that's what I'm seeing in this reading. You are str strong within yourself, within who you are. That's why you have the High Priestess energy as your guidance, because that's the energy that you're moving in or that you're moving to. So we see you moving forward very steadily and whatever this conflict, whatever this situation is, you're moving forward through it very stably. You're not making quick decisions. You're not, um, you're not, sorry, the energy's changing. Energy's changing at this point. So what I was saying is, do you feel the lightening of the energy? The energy just lightened. So I'm telling you, like in the near future, the energy is going to change around you. I can feel it. And I think most of you, especially those of you can, who can feel energy, can feel that the energy just shifted in my voice and in the energy that you receive from this reading. 
So this work that you're doing is slow? Yes, it's slow. But that is your speed, Capricorn. You don't make unnecessary moves. You don't use your energy unwisely because you're tired. You've worked hard for this. You're not, you have learned now how to be very efficient with the steps you take. And that's how you're moving forward. The changes that you're making will be long lasting. They'll be long term and they'll lead you to abundance because that's the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. The energy of the Knight of Pentacles truly can lead you to abundance. It is the energy of learning how to move in the 3D, not in the mind, not in passion, here and there. It is in stable effort. That's the Knight of Pentacles movement, and that's what you're doing. King of Swords is here. So you could have an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that you're working with, or that's impacting you in your life, or that you're connecting up with. Some of you are. Some of you are connecting in with someone here who can help you in a profound way. Someone here who can see the big picture, who can make, help you make wise decisions, who can be discerning in the steps that are taken. But I think for most of you, this is how you're seeing your own life with the King of Swords energy. That fragment within you that can find clarity and complexity, the fragment in you that can be discerning, right? The King of, Cor this, the, the King of Swords can see the big picture can recognize all the puzzle pieces, but can see the picture that the puzzle makes. That's the King of Swords. And I think um, for you, you're seeing awakening of this King of Swords fragment within you, and you're able to be very discerning. That's how come you're able to move so effectively in the Knight of Pentacles, because you're being able to make wise decision, be very discerning with, with the paths and the choices and the people um, that you connect with as you move forward. But I think for some of you, there is a King of Swords here, there is someone in, in, your, in your vicinity um, that is helping you some way because the energy changes for me when you kind of hit in with this King of Swords. Either this new clarity that you find in the future, even, either this ability to see the whole picture in the future helps you move your energy into a different space, or there's a person that comes in that helps you move your energy in a different space because we have the King of Wands and this, I mean, because we have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands energy is moving towards the Knight of Pentacles energy, right? So we, we're having two different types of energy coming in. And I do believe that this energy is connected in with the King of Swords. Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but I missed something the first time I said it. So this King of Swords is either you, it's either you, and seeing this, this ability, seeing this big picture, see that seeing this big picture allows you to change your energy into a much more powerful, urgent energy, or you're connecting in with a person who is a king of swords. I need to validate that. It's going to be different for all of you. It could be you, there could be two groups of people here connecting with the king of swords energy in a different way, but I'm getting a very different energy now. I'm moving in. So something is, something is in the, in the next seven to 10 days, no matter how you connect in with this, if this is connected in with this by yourself or this, or if another person is coming in or you're connecting in with another person, whatever this King of Swords represents for you, it opens up a new energy. It opens up a new opportunity possibly or a new energy and it allows you to spring forward in a much more faster way. So what that tells me, Capricorn, is that you are beginning to create something you're beginning to fix something. You're beginning to start something new. The Knight of Wands is revolutionary, right? The Knight of Wands energy is a revolutionary energy. The Knight of Pentacles energy is a, is a prosperous energy. It's a slow moving, prosperous energy. And the Knight of Wands is a revolutionary energy. So you're moving forward in a slow, prosperous energy. You connect in with the Knight of Swords energy, whether it's a person, whether it's yourself, whether it's your own brain that can find the true picture, the true, the true future, the true life path, whatever this is, this is a fragment of yourself or another person coming in to connect you in with this energy. And that changes your course in a way that allows you to begin to create. It allows you begin to fix something in a very intense, passionate way. Remember the Knight of Wands energy is the energy that's like, um, if you're, for example, if you're in the, in the Midwest or the South of the United States, um, when in the spring or any kind of almost now, it feels like almost any time of the year, but mostly in the spring, you can get these storms that come through very powerful, fast moving storms. Um, these storms can bring rain for the farmers. 
who are desperately desperately looking for rain, but they also can bring destruction. That is the Knight of Wands energy. It comes in quickly, it does a lot of powerful work, and it moves forward. What's left in the in the behind from the Knight of Wands energy is something sometimes something quite beautiful and needed and profound. And other times the Knight of Wands energy, if used unwisely, if used recklessly, if used without um, disregard for others, can be destructive. Right. So when you're in the Knight of Wands energy, it's very important to be careful with this energy because you could become destructive if you're in a negative vibration or if you're in a if you're in an unhealthy place in your life. But I don't see you in this place. I see you moving through a situation that is that has kept you in some kind of captivity. Right. So um, I'm going to clarify the Knight of Swords really quick to see if we can get a little bit deeper into the King of uh, not not the Knight of Swords. We're going to clarify. See, I have to what I'm struggling with right now. Uh, because I'm an empath, so I can feel energy, and it can it can impact the way I think, it can impact the way I respond, it can impact my breath even. Some of you have talked about that you can hear my breath sometimes. Well, I flow energy through my breath, so when the energies change in the middle of the reading, you can hear me like my breath taking a gasp, because that's how I flow the energy. Because we have two different energies that are coming together, and it's almost like a little storm right here over the King of Swords. So I need to clarify a little bit more of this King of Swords energy. Empress energy. Empress energy is connected with the High Priestess and the world. Okay, so this could be someone here in your life. Again, it's going to be different. Okay, so confirmation here. This King of Swords energy, the energy of discernment, making powerful decisions, being bring, being a judge and a decider about your fate, about your life. Um, this is either connecting to a person or it's connecting to an energy within you. Um, but it, it is someone or, or you are finding this balance or it is another person who is very balanced in a very internal way. So you could either be finding this balance within yourself or you're connecting in with someone um, who has who is helping you connect in with balance. If you are connecting in with someone, it is the Empress energy. And the Empress energy is um, the very, um, a person who is, has reached the, has reached the capacity to find true enlightenment in all of the queen energies and all the feminine energies the energy of love and nourishment, self-awareness and self-care, the energy of beauty and passion and chemistry and, and self um, knowing what our true strengths are and also knowing what our weaknesses are and managing those weaknesses, the energy of clarity and discernment, which is the sword's energy, and also the energy of practicality, um, the energy of Capricorn. Right. So so if this is yourself, you have you have found yourself in a very powerful and balanced place. And from this powerful and balanced pl place, you're really able to to imagine and to connect in with a beautiful new future for yourself. All right. So some you know, if we take if we go a little bit farther out of the energy and into a more 3D kind of way of saying it, for some of you, you could have been in a job for a long time that really um, was not a natural place for you to be, was a very unhealthy place for you to be. And you could have um, really struggled to work your way through the knowledge of this. For many times, for those of us, we don't understand when we're in an unhealthy place. We don't recognize it. We're just unhappy. We lose track of what it is to be successful. We lose track of what it feels like to feel joy and, and excitement. We lose track of that. We we are we can be so diminished that we um, cannot even connect in with those energies anymore. And so for some of you, you have been going through this period of realization, realization, working through this this conflict. This could even be in a relationship, a marriage. It could be in any kind of a situation. And as you move into the future, we see you um, feeling after you disconnect from this or after you work to connect and disconnect from whatever the situation is for you, Capricorn, we see you having sadness because of that. So I see you moving through. I know I'm repeating just a little bit, but this is these energies are are powerful this month or this week. It could be a month. This could be a month's time for some of you. They're powerful this month, Capricorn. We, and oh, crap, Capricorn. It could be because don't we have a powerful eclipse this month? Right. So this and, and I'm swirling around at these energies. So please be kind to me right now, Capricorn, um, because this is a big reading for you. You do move through some some energies 
um, here where you actually do, even though you don't realize that you put this behind you sometime in the month, you put this behind you because you move from the five of wands of conflict and you move to the five of cups, remorse at what's happened or sadness is what happened or feeling the loss of what happened. That tells me you've moved past it. You're moving through it in a very slow, prosperous, powerful energy in the night of pentacles. You connect in with someone here. It could be a new job, could be a new friendship, could be an old friend. It could be um, a new department at your work that you're moving to. It could be anything. There is some type of hook here. There's some type of hook, whether it's in friendship, whether it's in a new job, whether it is um, uh, making a decision and filing paperwork, maybe uh, filing a disillusion or whatever this is. You you connect in with this hook, this judge this deciding energy, this discernment energy. If it's a person, great. If it's you, even better. Um, but from this place of the King of Swords energy, you are able to connect yourself with a new beautiful future. You are connecting yourself with an ending as well, because the world is always about an ending and a new beginning. All right. There could be travel here. There could be new abundance that you're connecting in with. So it's a beautiful energy. And that energy that you connect in with allows you to move forward in a much different energy. So you're actually changing your energy in the next month. You're changing the way you move forward. You're changing from moving in a slow, steady, um, one step before the other kind of an energy. Um, it could feel kind of, it could be using all of your strength, Capricorn, to move in the Knight of Pentacles energy, but then you reach this King of Swords and your and your energy begins to change. You almost again begin to move like that powerful Midwestern storm where you're gaining the universe is getting giving you power and the heavens are giving you power, and those cl clouds within you and that storm within you begins to brew. Right. And you've been moving faster and you're being more passionate and that flame inside you is triggered by the winds that flow through you. Right. So this is like this big thing that I'm being shown in my mind. And it allows you to move forward very bravely, very courageously in a very revolutionary way into a new future for yourself. And then this is the ending then to this trauma, this pain, this this mental anguish that you've been through. So this is the story of the next month for you, Capricorn, is you're moving through this conflict once and for all, and you're moving out through this very um, passionate Knight of Wands energy, um, through this energy and into a very complete ending for you in this cycle that you've been in. And some of you could have been in this cycle for a very long time. You do have an ending and a new beginning here, Capricorn. Okay, that energy was... So if you're a Capricorn and you're listening to this and you're feeling like the energies are powerful for right now, you could be feeling like you're blocked. You could be feeling like um, you have something big up ahead of you that you may not be able to scale. But again, I see you uncovering things. I see you opening the doors to new realities. I see you opening the door to the truth, right? This nun or this um, person that's in the orphanage, probably, or whatever building this person is in, we can't just assume. It could be any kind of a building, right? Um, this person, she probably heard some noises outside. She probably heard some knocking on the door, but she wasn't sure. It was stormy outside. See, there's that storm again. It was stormy outside, and maybe branches had been hitting the roof, and maybe there have been doors banging from the wind, but she thought she heard something outside. That's you kind of getting the idea that maybe there's some truth to be found here. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there's a pathway. Maybe if you just um, think differently, or maybe if you just dig a little deeper or dig deeper within yourself and you open that door of truth, it's going to be laying there in front of, in front of you on the doorstep and you will be able to make a very clear decision. Because once this nun opens this door and she sees a baby in the rain that has been left on her doorstep, there's no, there's no denial of what is the decision that she's going to make. So for you, I think it's this two of swords realizing some kind of truth here um, and moving forward through this conflict because we have the five of wands and you end it in the current time period with the, five, with the four of swords. So again, even in the current energy, you're moving. You're not staying still in the current energy. You're moving through it in the current energy. Almost in a way, Spirit has given us two waves of energy. You're currently in the first wave, and the second wave is this, is this next story. The story of actually solving this and moving forward through it into a victorious new start of some kind. We have two tens here. 
ending of a difficult period of time for you. Two tens, both, both action and mental. How do I say it? First, you, you see the truth and you make movements to end this burden that you have placed on your body, the burden you have placed in the actions that you take every day. And then as you keep moving through this in the future, you end the torment that has plagued your mind, that has confused your thoughts, that has given you um, a cycle of thinking that has been very judgmental upon yourself, very harsh towards yourself. You could have been in confusion. P other people or other situations could have um, abused you in such a way that your mind is now not thinking um, <clears throat> as, as your mind would have if it hadn't been through this. For example, um, when we go through trauma, it can act, trauma can actually affect the way our brain is and it can actually affect the way we think. And so whatever you're doing here in the future, you are allowing yourself to find a new freedom um, with your thoughts, a new freedom with your imagination, a new freedom to think of a future in a new way. So you're absolutely coming to that place um, in the next near future. So I do believe that there are two um, waves of energy that you're going to be connecting in with. Many of you are in this first wave, and then you're going to be moving to the second wave um, as soon as you're done. As soon as you begin healing, as soon as you come in out of the battle in some way, um, you can, you are then going to begin moving forward um, in this new in this new um, journey to freedom. So there's two there are two steps to freedom for you. The first is changing your actions or changing how your action changing the actions you take in your life. So this could be about work. This could be about the, for many of you, this is about work, a career an occupation for others of you. This is being in a relationship that you are alone and carrying the burdens by yourself. That again, it's always about actions. Wands are about action and sores are about the thoughts, the mind, um, what, how trauma can affect the mind. So you're ending, you're changing the way you act, take action first. And, and then we see you going into action. See how that happens. As soon as you change the way you, you consider action, as, you, as soon as you change the way you take action, you begin then to take action in a different way. So, so it, and, and this is because of your internal processing, because we have two very powerful internal energies. So this is again about your internal health, your internal wisdom, your internal connection to source. It's also it's all about strengthening the internal self, healing the internal self. Why is the Ten of Swords here? What time is it? Three, thirty-two. Okay, Capricorn. We have the Ace of Pentacles over the Ten of Swords. New life. Thank you, Spirit. New life. A, re a new reality here with the Ace of Pentacles. So I had it. It was just difficult, Capricorn, because it's like a big tornado. When I get in this energy, I had it. And thank you. They confirmed that this Ten of Swords is a brand new reality, a brand new, beautiful beginning. All right, Capricorn, um, I am going to move the, to the extended. I'm going to dig deeper into some of these energies here. Um, I am going to dig deeper into the Five of Wands. I am going to dig deeper into the High Priestess energy um, I'll dig deeper into some of these, but in reality, we're going to take this scenario and we're going to move it into the future. Um, once we move it into the future, I am going to use a dowsing rods to look at timing for that story um, and to see what we can bring forward about when the average energy is for major changes, major improvements as you continue in um, and continue on this new journey into the future. All right, Capricorn, um, I hope this was understandable for you. I hope it made sense. Um, it is a general reading, so the energies can be vague, but I hope um, this makes sense to you. Um, I, I wish you all the best. I truly do. And just as I felt, Capricorn, usually in your readings, I'm a Capricorn moon. Usually your readings are very smooth for me. Um, and maybe this is a sign for me, too, that the next month could be quite, quite a change, could be quite... Um, some, some big changes are coming in and I do feel because it, I do feel it has something to do with the weather or something to do with the universe in some way. Um, and, and it probably has to do with the eclipse. It, it totally, it probably does. Um, but I love that you are in the Knight of Wands energy as you end the second wave and you move into a beautiful new reality with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords. So this, this eclipse definitely, um, I think for, for many of you has something powerful to do with this story. 
Capricorn. All right, moving to the extended now. Thank you all very much. Um, I wish you all the best and a wonderful, prosperous, happy, restful, adventuresome. Thank you, Capricorn.